We all know that shaving can be a hassle, especially when the results barely last two days. So it's really no surprise that thousands of Americans have turned to waxing. From the dozens of home waxing kits to the hundreds of upscale spas, getting smooth and hairless has become as easy as getting takeout. So if you're looking to try waxing, it's your lucky day. I have some insider tips. First, you'll want to make sure the person waxing you is not only experienced, but works with sanitized tools in a hygienically clean salon or spa that meets your city's health standards. No one wants to catch a bacteria infection now, do they? But before you walk in, make sure that your hair is at least half an eighth of an inch in length. If it's any shorter than that, the wax won't grab. Exfoliating is another important pre-wax tip. It'll remove dead skin cells for a cleaner, smoother wax. And remember, never wax over scars, moles, or varicose veins. They can be extremely sensitive and very susceptible to tearing. Since the skin on your legs and arms is generally thicker and the hair easier to remove, the professional will most likely use a strip wax, the kind that needs fabric to remove. It's a faster way to remove larger areas of hair in less sensitive areas, like this. As for your underarms, the hair is a bit coarser since it has to wick away sweat and odor-causing bacteria, so opt for a hard wax in this sensitive area. You can tell the difference because hard wax doesn't need fabric to rip out the hair. When it comes to aftercare, avoid tanning, exercise, and sauna for at least 12 hours after your session. And don't apply scented lotions and deodorant either, which can clog your pores and cause ingrown hairs. And most importantly, don't shave. Shaving in between waxing sessions changes the hair growth cycle, which means you'll have to start growing your hair all over again to get an even length. Keep in mind that hair typically grows an eighth to a half an inch each month with results lasting generally four to six weeks. But there's always room for mishaps like hair breakage, ingrown hairs, and burns to the skin. Remember, always consult your doctor if you have concerns about waxing and discuss any medical conditions you may have with a professional before that first drop of wax hits the skin. To learn more about hair removal procedures and techniques, check out more videos in this series.